<laughs> oh, awesome. Hi, Patrick. Hi, Amy. Hey. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> uh, this is going to be so much fun. So, Patrick, I purposely put in the incense here <laughs> because <laughs> I, yeah. I was wondering if you noticed this. So I had this going the other day on a call with a partner and I'm probably going to wind up choking on this thing. I was, I had this flowing around with a partner, Amy and I were on the call and she's like, what is happening? What? And he's like, there's all this smoke is swirling around. I'm like, well, I don't know, I'm burning incense. And I just thought I'd show up with that incense burning at the same time. So I wanted That's your great. thought on, is that good, bad? Should I, should I be doing that? Should I not be doing that? That's a, that's a great question. I would say that I would, depending on the call, <laughs> right? <laughs> right. Here's the, here, speaking of things that are distracting, right? Yes. So this is completely unplanned, but obviously you see a cattail. Yes, that's right. <laughs> yeah. It's just yeah. like, you can't plan these things sometimes, but you can control your incense. And so, you know, the one thing, since somebody commented on it, it was distracting. Yeah, exactly. Uh, right? So yeah. did really have to ask the question, did that take away from your messaging? If they're paying attention to, is that something burning? Is your house on fire? Yeah. To, <laughs> what is happening? Oh, wait, wait, could you repeat that last point? I think you said something important. Yeah, because mm. the swirling is bothering. I, I can't even concentrate because all this stuff is going on. <laughs> right. It's well, and then too. imagine, then imagine you you even mentioned it yourself that you might you know kind of choke choke on, on it. Instant, right. That might be a problem. Close, that, right. That might be a problem. Yeah, mm -hmm. that might be a little bit of a problem. Well, that takes away from that that time, but it but it also takes away from people's attention. Yeah. We are in constant competition for people's attention. Mm -hmm. So once you get their attention, what are you doing to keep their attention? Mm -hmm. And that's that's why we we try to do more um, minimalist backgrounds. You know, not too much, not too little. You know, it, it doesn't have to be plain Jane. Um, mm -hmm. But we want to we want to have something that's both expressive of our own brand, and is clean enough and non distracting so that the person is really focusing in on what on us and what we have to say because what we have to say is valuable. I love Why that. is it important to like show up on purpose, Patrick? I mean, what is your what's your opinion on that? Here's the to show up on purpose is uh, ultimately a kindness to mm. the people with whom we uh, we have the for the the privilege to work with. Um, you know, it, it's the old adage that our moms and dads taught us, which is um, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Mm. And showing up on video, particularly on video for Zoom calls, um, disheveled. Uh, can I say disheveled? I think you can. You just okay. said so. Do like, like, looking like a slob. And pajamas and hair a mess and yeah, all, that right? or all that, right? So what is, you know, in certain circumstances, it makes sense. If you've established a relationship and things in you, you understand who the other person is. Um, but here's a great case in point of why we show up on purpose. And I'm going to use I'm going to use a Batman analogy. Can I use a Batman analogy? Of course you can. I like okay, Batman. So, we like superheroes. Right, so, <laughs> so Batman in the Dark Knight. I think it was the Dark Knight. If you remember, he put he's trying to catch the Joker, mm. and what he does is he puts up this bank of screens and he's monitor literally monitoring cell phones all over Gotham City. And he recruits uh, he recruits his friend Lucius to, to help be his eyes in the sky, so to speak, right? But there are right. so many ethical issues wrong with what he's proposing that it's not Bruce Wayne who showed up in the suit driving the fancy sports car, the playboy Bruce Wayne. It was it was Batman. And it was not just Batman. It was Batman with the Batman voice. Mm -hmm. So he was intentional about, one, dressing the part, two, speaking the part, and three, bringing the gravity of the situation and who was going to, and he needed help. Mm -hmm. So when we show up on purpose, we're showing up in the same, we have to think through 
are we showing up in the same way? Mm. Is, is, is uh, my grandmother used to say, uh, dress for the dignity of the occasion. Right. I mean, because we would always complain yeah. about, you know, mm. we want to wear blue jeans to the symphony. Times have changed. You can wear blue jeans and a sport coat or something like that today. But it, but when I was growing up, you had to wear khakis, you know, you had to wear dumb khakis and a polo or a yeah. sweater or something to the symphony. And that was the way you did it because that was the dignity of the occasion. So we have to, we have to think through those things, plan and be intentional because it's going to matter in how we're able to accomplish our engagement and our connection with the people that we're trying to serve. How do you feel about, I mean, there's, there's a lot of schools of thought here, right? That, that it doesn't matter. I'm at home. People, mm -hmm. there, people are going to go behind me or I don't even want to get on camera. Yeah. I, I'm, I, I can roll out of bed and it's fine versus the reverse, which is, be present. Yep. Show that you care. And then there's probably degrees in between. Right. And I think you've kind of answered your own question in a way, because it's this aspect of uh, show that you care mm -hmm. is really sort of part one of this. Um, I can tell you right now, I don't show up looking like this. I don't play with my lighting when it comes to family Zoom. Does yeah. my family not matter? <laughs> right, right, right. Right. I guess I guess my mom isn't that important anymore. No. Yeah. That's not that's not at all what I'm saying. It's just a much more casual environment. Yeah. You know, when we when we go on family vacation, we create a big circle with armchairs and everything, and the whole family is sitting around the circle and you got lots of little side conversations. It's much more relaxed atmosphere. So we show up on Zoom in a in a very relaxed manner. That's the, that is the the culture of the call, right? If you're if um, it, it it is about the purpose of the call and what you want to accomplish, and ultimately, I think we all share the value that we want to connect with somebody across the lens. So, what's that going to take? That's a good question. I was so. I think it's well. It's being it is being mindful of of is there anything behind me that's going to distract or like this right? Is this going to distract my conversation? Which it did, <laughs> right. it totally did, right? So being paying attention to that, and then you know if I show up I, looking like I don't care, maybe I'm make am I communicating the message that I don't care about the people, someone that I'm talking to, right? Right, because because what you don't want to do is unintentionally lessen your impact. Yeah. We have to remember that the camera doesn't lie. The camera is picking up on so much more. And the reason why it's picking up so much more is because the epicenter of emotion is are the eyes and the face. So when we take that as sort of we recognize that is that is really the power of what we're doing when we come into online meetings, live streams, and so forth. We have to we have to clearly then recognize that power, that tool, what it's capable of, rather than dismissing it as um, a, a phone call on video, which mm. it's not. No. Right. I mean, there's a big difference between a phone call on video and a phone and, and it, it, a phone call. Yeah, you can show up. You can wear sweatpants or uh, uh, Lululemon or what? Or what no pants. A phone call, right? <laughs> or whatever. It right? <laughs> but the other side of it is, you could do that on a video call. You can be comfortable. I mean, the whole job mm -hmm. here is is we've got to stop allowing the the tool to tell us what to do. Mm. We got to stop the, you know, having the camera tell us this is where you sit and this is how you sit. Um, position yourself in a way that is, you know, ergonomically correct, but more importantly, you know, what is comfortable, because that comfort, <clears throat> right? I think what we're we some of us don't want to be competitive. You know, on the one hand, uh, there there are a number of people who don't want to seem competitive. They don't want to be a competitor. And so they don't try. 
uh, even my brother Mike, who's a nationally recognized actor, will will say that there are actors out there who, are, when they're on camera, are, are have this sort of cult of cool. Well, what does that mean? It, it, it means I'm gonna, I'm just going to show up and and I mean honestly, what it means is I'm just going to show up and wing it. Mm, okay. I'm, I'm not. I, I don't really have to follow the script. I'm just going to emote. And and it's like no, there's always a structure to these things, and and um, I think one of the best analogies is surfing. I mean, uh, it it's one of those activities where you have to have the right board that fits mm -hmm. you. Um, you have to understand the waves to a degree. You have to understand that a little bit. You've got to paddle out. You got to learn how to paddle out. Um, and so there's a number of techniques, but as soon as you hit the wave you almost have to go into this sort of unconscious skill set that allows you to simply ride the wave. That's where we really begin to be our authentic and genuine self. Not in, not in assuming that we can show, out, show up with bad lighting, bad hair, bad clothes, but we've got the right wetsuit on, we've got the right surfboard, we understand that the conditions are good, but as soon as that wave hits, it's all spontaneous. Nice. Uh, you know, the word that I like to use actually is, is planned serendipity. There's both structure and spontaneity in, in what we're doing, but if you don't put any time into the structure, then it's, a, it's gonna be a lot more haphazard that's not going to achieve the results we, we want to achieve. I love the analogy, Patrick, because it's like, I well, and you, I'm sure you were thinking about that analogy in preparation for this conversation, right? <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's true though, because so you're, you're talking about tools and techniques right. and stuff, stuff you need in order to show up on purpose. And right. then in the moment, how do you be your authentic self? Right. Are you comfortable to be your authentic self, right? And if you're not comfortable, you're probably not going to be authentic. You're not gonna show up on purpose, but you also have to have the tools around you. You don't need all the fancy stuff. Like I did this the other day on a call and they're like, where'd that come from? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I love this, by the way. I absolutely love this, Mike. Love this. Oh, good. Yeah, so, this is fantastic. So Patrick, I know a lot of people are just super de duper uncomfortable in front of the camera. Right. Um, where do they start? Easy, oh. like simple stuff. Yeah, easy, yes. easy wins. You know, I think um, what I've what I end up working with people on is is actually just positioning the camera. Mm. And if you can get a better camera angle, you end up liking how you look better. Mm. And and um, you know, my own I've, I've shared with the two of you my own genesis. Um, my own sort of path of discovery, if you would, um, even shared photos of me looking like a potato back in March 2020. <laughs> I love that. And, yes. and how much <laughs> and how much I, I I hate looking at those pictures, right? Uh, um, did you have all your ears and your hat and all that stuff? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Time. Exactly. Exactly. It just and I was a green potato at that. You know. <laughs> nice. I mean, even you better. Want to touch. Yeah, it, it was. Was awful. there mold on your head? What was happening with that? I was right? in the That's dark. Awesome. I was left in the dark for a long time. <laughs> um, That's funny. The the aspect though here is is if we can get our and these are simple fixes. So some something that I sometimes say is is you know we want to make inches of adjustment mm. to create miles of engagement, mm. right? And so and what I mean by that is if we um, first. We've got to, at the end of the day, you got to buy a better camera. Hmm. Uh, it's not a matter of if you're going to buy a better camera, it's when you're going to buy when. a better camera. <laughs> especially and, now, and right? Especially now. You know, the, the, you know in, in the beginning days of the pandemic, <clears throat> it was uh, excused because the really good cameras uh, were not even in supply. I mean, mm -hmm. all the major vendors ran out of good cameras. Um, so that... You know, there, there are things that are simply outside of our control. But now that we're into 2021, inventories are coming back, find a good camera and, and then put that camera on a tripod. And the reason why we wanna do that is because 
uh, now you have the ability to adjust it for your desk, for how you sit and, and to make sure that you're comfortable. I know um, that's kind of number one. Number two is once you, once you divide and conquer, this is kind of a divide and conquer strategy because if we're relying on our laptop to be our sole webcam, then uh, we're, we're actually, um, we're, we're relying on the Swiss army knife approach mm. to solving our, our at home studio office. Mm -hmm. And, and the recognition is, is we're now, uh, with, with as, um, widespread as video meetings are and as much video as everybody's essentially required to do these days, mm -hmm. um, the home studio office or the studio office is just the reality. So um, it, it's something we're going to have to get used to. But I think that, that that first step is getting a a good webcam. Job number one, you can use your phone as a webcam. You can use, uh, I often recommend a Logitech stream cam. I don't get any endorsement for that. I probably should. But, um, <laughs> or this, like, you don't need this, although it's super road, cool, right? Right. And then there's different things, you know, and, and every environment is a little different. And so, you know, Michelle, you were you were dealing with the echo and you wanted, yeah. you really wanted your audio to sound so much better. Um, but I think that that, that first, that first bit, and then getting it positioned in a way so that you can look horizontally across mm -hmm. at your camera. And that makes such a difference because now you're, you're sitting up. Right. Um, uh, Amy, I know that, that uh, you, you teach yoga. So this whole body awareness mm -hmm. aspect, um, you know, so often what I experienced in my own work early on, particularly with all the Zoom meetings, is my laptop was on my desk and I was hunched over for hours a day mm. looking down at the camera. Well, if you spend all day hunched over, you're automatically going to experience fatigue. Yeah. It is not how we're built to sit. And so is Zoom fatigue a real thing? Absolutely. Oh, for sure it is. Right, but you have to think, you've got to kind of stay, take a step back and say, what is actually contributing to it? Is it because I'm on video and I don't like video? That could be it. Mm -hmm. uh, is the video I'm watching really, really bad? Mm. Yeah, in most cases, that's probably gonna be the case because, um, but then, and, it, and, it's, and, it's, and it's taxing. Um, I, I just read a great quote by Steve Stockman. He's, he's directed hundreds of commercials, feature films and, and television shows. And one of the things he said is the opposite of good, when it comes to video, the opposite of good is off. Interesting. And, and what he means by that is if it's not good video, people are gonna shut it off. Mm -hmm. I will go so far that now in sort of the <clears throat> Zoom age, if it's not good video, it's either off or out. Mm -hmm. So people are going to either shut it off or they're gonna shut it out and they're just not gonna pay attention. And I continue to hear reports of, of people, even within corporations, who are forced to watch bad videos of vice presidents mm. who could care less about what they're saying from a subject matter standpoint, mm. because it is so hard to just watch them. Mm. That's painful. That is super painful. Really, yeah. Patrick, this is I, awesome. right? I know it's like it's like ee, ee, ee. I've well oh, we've watched no. those, right? We've watched those and we're like, I don't want any part of that. I don't want any part of that. This right. I I wanna wrap this up. I think that how how can people get in touch with you? Oh um you? that's a great question. I appreciate that. Uh the best way would be my email. It's Patrick at punchin P U N C H N dot I O and I'll just repeat that. It's Patrick at Punchin P U N C H N dot I O would be the easiest way to get a hold of me. Awesome. And we I need to get with you because we have a client yep. that is is awesome for your group. I so I, I will oh, yeah. via email yeah, that way. My yeah. power up and, March 19th. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So 
Thank you for all of this information. I, you know, I just thought it would be important for people to understand how, why is it important to show up on purpose? What are some of the tips you can, can do to get started? And don't be afraid to lean in to yeah. being authentic on screen, right? Right, exactly. Yeah. It is, it, we, we want to see the real you, just not necessarily the real, the real you that just rolled out of bed. Right, right. Not real rolling like in your. You know, there's degrees of realness. Let's just say that there's. Degrees I love of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Patrick. And thanks, Patrick. Thank you. We'll have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye. Bye.